and welcome to Songwriter Connection. I'm glad you've joined us. My name is Dave Linehan. This is a show that is dedicated to the craft of songwriting and the people who toil over those songs. You know, songs are just incredible things. I was, I was thinking this week about the power of a song. Think about it just a second, what a song can do to you. It tears up your emotions. It can make you laugh. It can make you cry. It can transport you through time, take you to places you've never been. And you know what? Think about this. This little novella that we're talking about does all that to you in like three, three and a half minutes. It's really incredible if you think about it. In the show, we've introduced you to a lot of local songwriters, but occasionally we get the Nashville big time songwriter like we have tonight. I'm going to introduce you to him in just a little bit, but I want to thank our sponsors. And the first and foremost, I want to thank Buddy Rogers for helping us out. Buddy Rogers Music now four stores in the tri-state area, including Beachmont Avenue, where I hang out a lot these days, uh, and where I recently bought uh, my second Taylor guitar. So, also want to thank Connecticut, the Ohio Center for Broadcasting, uh, the, the crew here running the cameras uh, behind the scenes are, are making it happen. I want to thank all these guys. And most of all, this month, i got to thank uh, my friend Jason Dudas and the folks at CPC, the Community Program Center here in Northern Kentucky, for allowing us to use their facility for our show. Well, our songwriter from Nashville, boy, he's written lots of songs that you've heard on the radio and a lot that you're going to be hearing. Uh, right now, one of my favorite songs uh, that I hear is by an artist named Julie Roberts called Breakdown Here. He wrote that. He also wrote songs for Tammy Cochran and Jason Denny and lots of others. And uh, we're going to, or Kevin Denny, <laughs> and lots of others. And we'll, uh, we'll talk more about that. But I want to introduce you to him. I know you'll enjoy him. It's Jason Matthews. Sometimes in the morning My coffee gets ice cold And I'll burn up three cigarettes Before I have my first smoke Miss my exit on the way to work Every now and then I always blame it on the traffic When they ask me where I've been And in a crowded elevator I'll start humming that old song There's no way that urge will come along I've been stuck in some meat Look down at my legal pad To see hearts and flowers and butterflies And I can't help but laugh This distant dirt road Summer 89 It's just a backseat And some muscadine wine That's just auburn hair Brushing Cross my cheek and those kiss me green eyes smiling back at me that's just my mind jumping fences once again but I'll be fine once I get it rolled back in well I know sometimes I may act a little crazy That's just Jesse. And sometimes in the evening, I hear bare feet in the hall. Then I'll see a slender silhouette dance across the wall. And I catch the scent of jasmine, perfume in the wind. And I know it's her sweet memory Coming back again It's just a dirt road Summer 89 It's just a backseat And some muscadine wine That's just auburn hair Brushed across my cheek And those kiss me green eyes Smiling back at me it's just my mind Jumping fences once again But I'll be fine Once I get it broke back in Well I know sometimes I may act a little crazy But that's just Jesse In a white cotton dress that's just a wildfire that I ain't put out yet. That's just auburn hair, brushing. 
blush across my cheek and those kiss me green eyes smiling back at me that's just my mind jumping fences once again but I'll be fine once I get it rolled back in well I know sometimes I may act a little crazy but that's just Jesse That's just Jesse. Isn't that great? This show is Songwriter Connection. Our songwriter guest from Nashville is Jason Matthews. It is so unbelievable that you chose to start with that song. About a year ago, we had Kerry Kurt Phillips, the gentleman who co-wrote that song yeah. with you, on the yeah. show, and he led with the song. And I've always loved the pictures. That, that paints some pretty pictures, that, that song right there. Tell us about, uh, uh, today really it is, it's about co-writing, right, Nashville? Uh, tell us yeah. how you guys hooked up and, and started to write that song. Well, Kerry uh, and I have been writing together for a little while at that point, and uh, Debbie had found out that uh, at that point Kevin Denny had a development deal, artist development deal on Lyric Street. Kevin Denny, the artist, Debbie, your wife, yeah, your lovely wife. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. And uh, an artist development deal is not a full fledged record deal. Okay. It's like uh, minor leagues. Okay. It's okay. like this is a deal to determine whether we're going to give you a full deal. <laughs> Down in Triple A. You know. <laughs> so uh, Debbie. Uh, was able to snag an appointment for Carrie and I with Kevin to write, mm -hmm. and uh, and Carrie threw this idea out, and we went to town, mm -hmm. you know. And the first thing that came to my mind was the you was that that thing that groove, and they were like, "Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> that that's it," you know. <laughs> so we just started vibing on that, and. Uh, you know, just started writing a song. You just kind of free associate, or you, you, you've got this idea, you've got a little bit of a groove now, it's just, what is this groove talking to me? What? Well, yeah, you know, I try to, for me, I have to have an idea to start writing a song. And, I mean, unless I'm writing by myself. But when there's more than one person in the room, it kind of helps get everybody on the same page if there's an idea, a hook, you know, to start from. That way, and then and then the two of you start talking about well, what does this mean, you know? What's the angle? What's the direction we're going to take with this? And uh, you just start to talk about things, and and then you start to write the song out of that. Mm. How long did that song take to write? That took about six writing appointments over the course of a year or so. Well, it wasn't it wasn't quite a year. It was uh, it's probably about four months. Isn't it took incredible? about four months to write. And then you we think went, it's easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we went in to demo it, uh -huh. and uh, Kevin sang a version, and I sang a version just in case Kevin didn't happen, mm -hmm. you know. So we'd have a version to pitch, you know. Right. And uh, Kevin took it into Lyric Street, played it for Doug Howard, and he flipped out, mm -hmm. gave him a full-fledged record deal on the spot. Wow! All because of the song. All because it's of the song. Isn't amazing what a great idea and a great song can do.